I'm on the road, yes. I am driving. I don't even know where I'm going, but I am trying to follow this GPS. Oh my god this is a dead end oh my goodness hold on let me do a u-turn uh-uh let me do a u-turn right here i don't even know where in the world i'm going let me do a u-turn and turn this thing around and go the other way all right all right yes yes hi everyone yes and welcome to the he said what 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 did he say what show me host your girl sister see the yes i had to do a u-turn to turn that thing around and get it right yes hi we just thank god and bless god I just come today to share a word to encourage our hearts. He says what? He says stay on track and don't backtrack. He says move forward. Don't go and rewind. Don't hit repeat. But move forward to the beat. He says the only way to get to the top, you must go forward. He says speak forward. He says stop going around in circles. He says you will end up at the same dead end. He says do a U-turn get on the right track he says yep you turn you have to take the turn and move forward remember i said that you will get to your promised land intoxicated off this new information he says you better go girl do it do it do it move forward it's a mountain move he says you're going higher as long as you keep looking up he says where you look take you in that direction he says what where you look takes you in that direction so even as we are driving forward guess what i'm gonna go forward i'm go he says where you look that's where you so i'm driving forward so guess what's gonna take me forward but if i look back i'm going back so in the midst of it god wants to have be so fixed and focused that we are moving forward he says stay on track and also to stay on track, it means to continue to work or make progress as planned. So in order for us to stay on track, evidently we he has already given us a plan and it's up to us to stick to the strip, to stay to the plan that he has given us. So my first scripture I'm going to do is Proverbs 16 and chapter, chapter 16, I'm sorry, and verse 3. And it says, commit thou works unto the lord and thou thoughts shall be established so even here to commit it means to he gonna be with my notes again <laughs> to, to commit means to carry into action so it says commit thou works unto the lord so we gotta carry our plan into the lord like okay god this is my plan like so okay lord show me what i should do i need some direction in it so with us committing our works to the lord caring whatever it is that we're trying to do whether it's big small an assignment a project whatever take it to the lord and it says and thy thoughts shall be established and some that's established means to introduce or cause grow or multiply so if we take in our thoughts our plan whatever it is to the lord he going to help us so that we can be stable. He going to help us so we can be established, so that we can grow, that we can prosper. Because he, he said that he come that we may have life, that ongoing state of success. So as long as we drinking from that living water, as long as we obeying and listen to his word, we could be so established. So he says, don't go and rewind, don't go and repeat, but I need you to move forward. And basically, rewind is going back to the beginning. And so many times we can sit in pity, have these pity parties and just go back in our past like, man, I'm a failure, I'm a this. He was like, no, 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 I need you to speak, speak forward. He says the only way you're going to go to the top is you speak for it. He want our words to be seasoned so much with grace that we be so in faith. So in it, my next verse I'm going to do is Ephesians 4 and 29. He says, no, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So in it, that God want us to let no corrupt communication proceed out of our mouth. If he want us to give grace to the listeners, guess what? We're hearing ourselves talk. So he want us to speak life 
and not speak all of this negativity. So if he wants us to speak life to each other, to other people, of course he wants us to speak life to ourselves. That he don't want us to degrade ourselves and beat ourselves up. He was like, no, I need you to speak life. And Proverbs 18 and 21 says, death and life is in the power of our blessed tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so he want us to win so much so he want us to let our he want our talk to be so faith talk that we will not be speaking negative that we will not be speaking anything less than faith that he want us to speak faith so in it he was like you, you can do it you can do it so he our cheerleader he right there cheering us on like come on you got this you can do this all you got to do is stick to the plan that you committed to me the directions i've given you all you got to do is a b do a b c and i'm gonna do x y z so all we have to do is just whatever he's given us to do just stay focused stay on track and move forward move forward do that you he says if we get on the wrong road he says when you get to that day and end and you be like uh-uh he says you do the u-turn so if he's given us our responsibility to do that u-turn and a U-turn, it causes you to go in the opposite direction. So if my language ain't right, uh-uh, he's like, uh-uh, you need to do a U-turn. You need to speak faith. You need to speak life. Uh-uh, you need to turn. Uh-uh, no, you check yourself. Check your language. So he's helping us to stay focused and stay on track because the mission is possible. And as long as we commit, if we just carry our plans to the Lord, he's given us a, a, he's given us a remedy, giving us abundance of peace and truth to help us to stay focused. Um, my next verse I'm going to do is um, Philippians 4 and verse 13. And it says, verse 12 says, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed, both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer needs. He said, what? I could do all things through Christ which strengthens me so in the midst of it he says I know both how to abase and to abound so abase means to I know how to humble myself I know how to be at a lower rank you know and abound means to be foot be to be filled with something in a very large amount okay so base and he says everywhere where I am instructed everywhere and in all things so if God we've commit our planet to the Lord when the Holy Spirit says uh-uh be still, be quiet. We know how to be quiet. I know how to get great faith. God says, I don't believe me. He says, oh no, I know how to be in a great large amount of faith. Like, uh-uh, God gonna do this. He already told me he gonna do it. So he's teaching us that, you know what? I can do all things. And that's our declaration. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So when he strengthens us and give us that word and tell us the, the, the no, let us know when to hold it and when to fold it, then we be like, okay, God, you, I, I know you got me. Okay, I need you to speak with confidence. So with us committing our plan to him, guess what? He's given us the answers. He given us that courage, that faith to press forward and move forward. The girl, go girl, go get it. Go get it. You got this. He just encouraging us in that right early that mission, the mission is possible. That we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us. And he strengthen us by encouraging us and giving us his word. Yes, his precepts have changed our attitude. But like, okay, God, you said I could do it. Okay, well, I can do it. <laughs> so he just wants us to believe in his word. Yes, he says, where you look takes you in that direction. So we look into his perfect, come on, Holy Ghost, the perfect law of liberty. When we look into his word, guess what? We're going to get to our destination. We're going to have an abundance of peace and truth because we're looking in his word. We're looking up, never giving up. Holly, we keeping our faith and our hope and our trust in him. And guess what? I am going higher. Ain't going to let nothing stop me now. Yes, so he come to encourage us to give us that word to be like, okay, I got you. I got you. Only he, he told um I think it was Isaiah only be strong and very courageous. Hallelujah. So he wants us to only be strong and very courageous and trust in him with our whole heart. Don't lean, don't lean, don't lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways acknowledge him. He promised he gonna direct our path and he gonna direct them and establish us. Yes, and to give us abundance of peace and truth. I love you so much. And no, for sure, for sure. The blessings of the Lord, he maketh us rich. And it add no sorrow. He added no sorrow with it. So y'all living the blessings. Enjoy living this blessed life. Yes, I love you. See you tomorrow on the He Said What, 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 What? On the He Said What show. Bye-bye.